Heather Pace and today I'm sharing my recipe for banana protein donuts with a chocolate glaze. They're fun to make, they're absolutely delicious and they are vegan, gluten free and nut free. Now of course these make a great dessert but they also make a great morning or afternoon snack or even a special breakfast. Okay I have everything ready in my kitchen, let's hop in and get to work. Here are my ingredients. I've got one large super ripe banana. You want to make sure that it's ripe so that the sugars have developed and it's nice and soft and mashable. So I'm going to mash and then measure out half a cup. I have some coconut oil, some warm water. You can also do warm nut milk if you want. Um, you do need to make sure that it's warm though. Otherwise the coconut oil will seize when you add it if it's cold. Some pure vanilla extract. Coconut sugar is the sweetener today. I have some oat flour here. I make my own oat flour simply by grinding up oats until nice and fine in the blender, so it's really easy. Over here I have some baking powder and baking soda and a little bit of salt. And then for the protein element, I have three tablespoons of unsweetened protein powder. You wanna make sure that your protein powder is unsweetened here, otherwise the donuts are gonna be way too sweet from the banana and the coconut sugar. You're also going to need some donut pans. So I've got a mini donut pan here and then I have a slightly larger silicone donut mold. So you can do either one. I find that the mini ones um, keep their structure better. I don't know what it is about these larger ones, but um, the donuts definitely hold better in the smaller mold. I'm going to grease them with some olive oil spray. You could do coconut oil. So I'm just giving these guys a little spray. And then I'm simply gonna use my finger and just make sure that they're completely greased. So I'm simply gonna start by sifting my dry ingredients into my bowl, just to get out any lumps, especially with the coconut sugar, I find it can get kind of lumpy. And this includes the protein powder. I'm just gonna do it all. There we go. You can already see some lumps here. So I'm just gonna actually break this up with my fingers. It's a lump of coconut sugar and keep sifting. And I like to use my fingers to help push everything through. And you'll find that there are some granular bits. This is the coconut sugar and a little bit of oats that haven't totally ground down. So at this point, what I do is I just add them in like this, but it's still got all the big lumps out. And from here, I'm just gonna whisk everything all together. There we go. Now my other bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and mash up this banana. I probably don't need all of it. Let's start with this. I'm gonna mash it and then I'm gonna measure. So I've got my measuring cup here and I'm going to see, let's see how close I am. Oh, ho, ho. I think it might be just right. So this is going right back into the bowl. My warm water, vanilla, and my coconut oil. And now I'm gonna whisk it again. You wanna whisk it until all ingredients are combined and nice and smooth my wet mixture into my dry. So you always wanna add the wet to the dry. And I'm gonna stir it together. And you wanna mix it until it's completely combined. And there we have it. So here is our batter and now we're gonna fill the donut molds. I've got a heaping tablespoon of the batter and I'm just going to Spoon it into my donut mold. Use your finger, make sure that it's evenly distributed. There we go. No more than a slight heaping tablespoon or it's just gonna be way too much and it will overflow. have just come out of the oven. I've set them on a cooling rack. They were a little overfilled, but it's still gonna be totally fine. And the larger donuts are in for just a little bit longer. And here are the other ones. 
So I'm gonna let them all cool for just a few minutes and then I'll turn them out onto the wire rack to continue cooling before I put the glaze on. You can gently pop them out of the silicone molds, just like that. Be careful that you don't break them. And it's better to do it now than when they're completely cool. So you want them just a little bit warm. Now with the mini ones, I'm simply going to turn it over and I'm gonna give them a good tap. And look at that. They pop right out. There we go. Now I'm gonna make the chocolate glaze recipe from my Sweetly Raw Desserts cookbook. And this is such a great recipe. These are my chocolate donuts, raw chocolate donuts made with almond pulp. So if you have the book, be sure to make this recipe. For my glaze, I have some maple syrup, melted coconut oil, warm water, some peanut butter. My original recipe actually calls for almond butter, but I am out of it, so peanut butter it is, and some cacao powder, and that's it. I've started by placing my bowl over a pot of hot water on the stove just to warm up the bowl. This is important in order to keep the glaze nice and fluid. I'm going to start by adding my liquid ingredients in first. My nut butter, my water, coconut oil, and now I'm going to sift in my cacao powder because it is quite lumpy. I'm going to use my hands to help it out. Just push it down and sift and kind of push it and sift. And now I'm just going to whisk it all together until nice and smooth. And you'll notice that it's going to start to thicken up and become nice and shiny and gorgeous. Woo! Look at that. It is perfect. Now I'm just going to pour it into a shallow bowl so that I have a wider base for dipping the donuts into. This is just gonna make it a bit easier, but it is optional. Here I'm all set up and ready to dip and garnish my donuts. So I've got my cooled donuts here. It's important that they have cooled before you go ahead and dip them. I've got my glaze and then I've got some crushed cacao nibs and some coconut flakes for garnishing on top. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm just gonna take a donut, dip it down into the glaze swirl it all around, make sure it's covered, and then I'm gonna turn it over. Look at that. Then I'm gonna set it down on my tray, and I'm gonna sprinkle a few little coconut flakes on top. Okay, let's do one up close for you. We'll swirl it around, release the excess, and voila. And as you go along, if you notice that it's starting to get a little bit hard to dip them, then just simply warm the mixture up over a pot of water again, and it will loosen up right away. And they are ready. How fun are these, right? I think they're pretty cute. Ta-da! It is donut time. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at this stack of donuts. The moment I've been waiting for. Check that out. How cute is that little donut? Easy, delicious. Let's go in for a bite. Oh my God. Mm. It is so soft, moist, sweet. The banana flavor comes through. Mm, the chocolate is so rich. It honestly tastes like it should be unhealthy, but it's healthy. I'm gonna go through these way too fast. <laughs> I really hope you give the recipe a try. You can find it in the description box below. Let me know what you think, and I hope to see you again. Oh, and I have been doing weekly Instagram Live recipe videos, so you can find me at Sweetly Raw on Instagram and join in. Let's see, I've done cookie recipes, I've done Eastern Nanaimo bars, veggie nachos. Today I did um, spinach cream pasta all so much fun, yummy recipes. So you can connect with me there and I will see you soon. Okay, bye-bye. I gotta eat my donuts. Oh my God, so good. <laughs>